Hello and welcome to this episode of Creating with Howcraft. My name is Denise Backmore of HowcraftCollection.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create one of my aqua ice bracelets. We will be crimping the end of the bracelet. So the technique we will be learning today is how to crimp. The tools you will be needing to create a crimp bracelet are crimping pliers, chain nose pliers, wire cutters, and we will be needing round nose pliers to create a wrapped loop dangle. A complete list of the jewelry making supplies and beads along with printable PDF instructions can be found on howcraftcollection.com. Search Aqua Ice Bracelets. We will also be using beading wire. This beading wire is 0 0.46 millimeters and you will be needing either crimp beads or crimp tubes. The great thing about Beadalon is that if you look at the front, it shows that this is 0 0.46 millimeters. And right there, it shows you size one crimp bead or size two crimp tube. You can always find the correct size crimp bead or crimp tube on the back. Also, if you go down here, 0 0.46, that's a crimp bead. It shows size one, that's a crimp tube. It shows size two. And then it also shows you their um, pliers and which size pliers to use. It's super important that you use the correct size crimp tube or bead when you're crimping your bracelet. I cut an 11 inch length of beading wire. Usually you have to have about two inches on each side to pass the wire back through and to crimp it down. So it's a good idea always to err on the side of caution when you're cutting your beading wire. Now we're gonna string our crimp bead or if you're using a crimp tube, it's um, completed the same way. So we strung the little bead and then we're gonna pass the wire back through. And at this point, the wire is crossed. You never want to crimp with your wires crossed. It can cause breakage. So we're just gonna take that and we're gonna move this side over so they're laying side by side. And we're gonna move that bead up a little bit and then we're grabbing our crimping pliers and then we're going to the second notch. At this point, we can adjust our loop size before we press down. And now we're pressing down. And we have formed a little groove. Now we're gonna come back into the first hole on our crimping pliers and then we're gonna crimp it again and both the sides have flattened together and that is how we crimp. Now we need to add jump rings to our beaded butterfly. These little beaded pendants were just added to howcraftcollection.com. So we're gonna grab our four millimeter jump ring. This one's already open. This is how you open and close the jump ring. We're gonna open that. And we're just gonna attach the butterfly and close it. We're gonna grab another jump ring, open it, attach it to the second jump ring, and then we're gonna close it. And then we're gonna grab one more bigger jump ring. This one's a six millimeter. We're gonna attach that. 
and we're going to close that jump ring. Now we're ready to string our beads. Now we're going to start stringing our beads. We're going to string a eight millimeter dolomite. We're going to pass it through both of those wires. And then I'm using a couple of jump rings to add a little bit of gold accent. So we're going to string that. And then we're going to string five. Five dolomite. We're going to bring those down and move them up. And we're going to pass that wire through a couple of them. And then I like to bring it down, grab my wire cutters, move that up. and just trim off that little end. So our bead looks like this, or a strand. Now I'm gonna grab another jump ring, a dolomite, and then we're gonna grab a six millimeter dyed howlite. A metal dot bead. The dolomite. And a hematine bead. And then we're going to string our pendant. We're going to repeat this pattern on the other side of the bracelet. So we're going to grab the six millimeter hematine faceted bead, the eight millimeter dolomite. These um, dolomites come in multi packs, which are four eight inch strands of four, six, eight, and 10 millimeter beads. Then we're going to string our gold tone metal dot bead. And then another turquoise dyed howlite, six millimeter. And then one dolomite a jump ring, five, dolomite beads, eight millimeter, another little jump ring for a little splash of gold color. and our dolomite. We also need to pick up a crimp bead and we're gonna string our crimp bead. Now we're gonna pass our wire back through the crimp bead and approximately two beads. We're going to bring it down a little bit. Move that down. They look like they're side to side. So we're going to move that down, making sure it's nice and tight. We're going to go to the second hole. to move it down, making sure it's nice and tight. 
and then we're going to pull that loop down a little bit. And we're going to come in and press. Now we're on the first hole of the pliers. We're going to come back in, place it in the first hole, and crimp down. And it has folded over on itself and created the crimp. Now we're going to grab our wire cutters. We're going to come back in. We're going to grab that wire, making sure we're not cutting the other wire and trim that end. Now we're going to form a little dangle. So we're going to grab a beaded head pin and we're going to string our dot bead. And our turquoise dyed howlite and we're going to form a wrapped loop so we're going to bend the wire back move the pliers up bend the wire towards you move the pliers to the side bend the wire back we're going to turn it and we're going to wrap one Two, three. I'm going to grab our wire cutters and trim that in. Come back in with our chain nose pliers. We're going to flatten that wire down and flatten out the loop. Now we're going to attach. A jump ring to our turquoise painted brass lintel. We're just going to string that and we're going to close the loop. Then we're going to pick up another six millimeter jump ring. We're going to open that up the end, attach it, and we're going to touch our little dangles to that end and close the loop. Now we're going to pick up a four millimeter jump ring and our spring clasp. And we're going to attach that to the other side, come in and close the loop. So you can add a couple little jump rings on the end to give it a little bit of added movement. Let's go ahead and connect this. Let's see what our bracelet looks like. And there you have it, how to crimp a bracelet. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe at Howcraft USA. Follow us on Instagram at Howcraft Collection Beads. Be sure to visit HowcraftCollection.com for more inspirational projects and for all your beading needs. Howcraft adds new beads every week to the website and each week is a new great sale. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.